Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I am going to be showing you how to evaluate a Riemann sum on a uh, TI-84 using a couple of different methods. So for today we are going to be evaluating this Riemann sum on a graphing calculator. This is the left Riemann sum that goes with the video lecture on areas under curves and Riemann sums, and this is the left Riemann sum for that last uh, example with f of x equals x cubed plus 1 using 50 subintervals from 0 to 2. So this is the sum that we want to evaluate on a graphing calculator. So what I want everybody to try first is I want you guys to go into the math button. And then if you select option zero, so option zero will actually give you a summation option. If you have this feature, go ahead and select option zero. And then what you will see is this is a Riemann sum. So it is pretty straightforward as far as the interface goes. Now remember, this K here, this index is just whatever variable. You could use n, you could use x, you can use whatever. For this, we are going to be using the generic variable button here that is next to alpha. So instead of our lower limit being k equals 1, I'm going to have to have my lower limit be x equals 1. Then I'm going to use the up arrow to toggle over to the upper limit, which we have as 50. And then I am going to type in my sum exactly as it is seen here. So yes, you'll need a double parenthesis. You're going to need to type this in pretty much exactly as you see it. So we've got double parenthesis, 0 0.04. Instead of K, we have X minus 0 0.04 parentheses cubed. Get out of this exponent. Plus 1. So that is your F of XK. Then you're going to multiply it by delta x, which is that 0 0.04. So multiply it by 0 0.04. And then when you press enter, this will be your left Riemann sum. So if you did have math option 0, you can stop the video right now. You can evaluate both the right Riemann sum and the midpoint Riemann sum using that same summation option 0. So if you had summation, uh, uh, zero. If you had math option zero, please stop the video right now because the rest of this video will be devoted to people who do not have math option zero. So if you did not have option zero under your math button, there is an alternative way to do this. So if you press the second key and you go into the stat menu, and then if you toggle over to math, you're going to select option number five, which is a sum. Then before you do anything, you're going to press second again, and you're going to press stat again. Then you're going to go over to ops and select option number five, sequence. You might get a menu that looks like this. If you did not, if you're on a TI-83 and you did not get this, just hang tight for the next 30 seconds or so. The exp, uh, EXPR is your expression, which is going to be, you know, this right here. So we're going to type this in with all of our parentheses. So double parentheses, 0 0.04, instead of K, you're going to have to use X, minus 0 0.04, parentheses cubed, plus 1. The variable, you have to tell it what, var what your index variable is. So you're just going to use your generic variable button in here. Then you're going to toggle down. The start is you are going to start at 1. So we're going to start at 1. You're going to end at 50. So your lower limit is where it's is start and your upper limit is end. Just ignore, leave that step blank and click paste. Now, if you did have a TI-83 or an ancient TI-84 that did not give you that menu, what you probably got was you probably got kicked back to the home screen, and you probably saw something like this, just the sum sequence with the open parenthesis. You're going to type in your expression, you know, double parentheses, 0.04x minus 0.04 cubed plus 1. Oops, we should have a times 0 0.04 here, so times 0 0.04. Anyway, you're going to type in your expression. Then you're going to press the comma button. Then you're going to tell it your index variable x. 
then comma one comma 50. So I apologize, you should have had an extra 0 0.04 right there. When you press enter, you should get that same, let's let it think, there we go, you will get that same sum, 5.8416. So really only use this if you did not have option zero under the math menu. So if you have any questions on any of that, the key press history is down here below. So this will give you a complete key press history for everything that we just did. So feel free to pause this video and take a screenshot of that if you want to. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or send me a message on Canvas. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.